This is Joe Polish. I'm about to hand the video over to Lisa Wagner. We're at NASCAR Phoenix International Raceway. It's going to be a massive day, and I've got some cool people that I want to introduce you to. So here we go. All right. Here I have the notorious, the stud. <laughs> this is Brian, GDSI. Does a lot of awesome stuff in the restoration industry. What do you? What exactly is it that you do? Structural drying for local, regional, and national restoration contractors. Okay. Then we've got David over here with Baker Curve. What do you do, David? I am the director of corporate partnerships for Baker Curve Racing. And we want to welcome you to NASCAR here at Phoenix International Raceway. What we want to do today is just show you a little bit about what goes on during race day. This is our third day here at the track. We've been here on since Thursday. On Thursday, they come in, unload, tech the cars. Yesterday, both of my friends here have spent the day with us. We had practice in two different sessions, and now it's race day. We're getting ready to go out and qualify. We own the number 27 Kimberly Clark Ford that'll be going out with Jason Keller here in just a few minutes. You hear the cars going around us, and we'll show you what happens the rest of the day. Awesome. And now, who's this guy? This is Gunner. This is the, he's the future president of GDSI, maybe. Yeah, at least that's what he's been telling me. All right, so can we we have this very special guest over here. Surprise! This is Jason. This is Jason. Now, Jason, uh, word on the street is that you're kind of a special guy. What do you do? Well, I'm not real special actually, but uh, <laughs> I spot for Carl Edwards in uh, number 99 off the steeple Ford Fusion. Uh, my job as a spotter is kind of it's kind of simple. If you turn the camera that way, you'll see the stand. We you see up the uh, main uh, press box up there. That stand. Um, we'll stand up there, and I'll be Carl's uh, eyes and, and ears. I don't know if that helps or not, but eyes and ears uh, as he races. He'll be racing against 42 other guys, and uh, all, there's 43 spotters up there. Just trying to help our driver um, through accidents and, and uh, what's going on around him. I got a little experience in the driver's seat myself, so I think that that tends to help when I try to help help Carl out. Awesome. Now I know it's really noisy out here, so you don't want to listen well. But what do you guys? consider the biggest marketing opportunities here at NASCAR. NASCAR. <laughs> NASCAR is a marketing opportunity. It's hard to buy here for three years. But uh, this is a total marketing platform. You know, a lot of people go out there, there's more Fortune 500 companies in this sport than any other sport out there. It's not just putting a sticker on the car as most people think. It's all about activation, it's about gaining a return on your investment, tracking and measuring, and getting the results that you're looking for. When you've got an audience that includes one out of every three Americans in the United States, you can't find a larger marketing opportunity out there. Yeah, absolutely. And what I'm going to do throughout the day, because it's noisy out here, I'm going to put some more videos together and I will give you links so you can find out all about these individuals and anything that I think is really awesome stuff that's going on in NASCAR and just kind of give you a peek, since you're not here, what it's like. And this is the first time I've been here, and it's pretty awesome. So wait until the next video, and we'll talk to you then.